Hey, hey, everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride, coming to you from Van York Toyota in High Point, North Carolina. We're gonna be taking a look at an awesome SUV that I am so excited to bring to you today. And it's a 4Runner, and it's this one right there. Let's take a look at a 2017 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. And this is gonna be a cool video. There it is. I love the badging there that's on that pillar. TRD Off-Road. The MSRP of this vehicle is $44,629. We're gonna take a look at the outside, at the inside. We're gonna go over all the specs and I'm gonna show you how to use the equipment that's inside the vehicle as well. Here's your key fob right here. You can see you've got lock on the top, unlock on the bottom. And on the right side, that little red button is the panic alarm. And you can see the Toyota emblem there on the back side. And so when you hit unlock, it's gonna unlock the driver's door hit unlock twice, it's gonna unlock all four doors plus the back hatch. Then when you hit lock, of course it locks everything. And if you hit the panic alarm, it's just gonna go crazy. If you do activate the panic alarm, then you can actually hit unlock or lock to deactivate the panic alarm. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but you could see the LED lights there in the mirrors that light up whenever I hit unlock or lock front of this thing just looks so cool I love how aggressive it looks I like also how high those uh, fog lights are some fog lights on some cars are just so low that they're not as effective but the fog lights here are nice and low but they're also high enough the overall height is 71.5 inches overall length 191.3 inches front track is 63.2 inches rear track is 63.2 inches as well of course the overall width without the mirrors is 75.8 inches so if the mirrors are folded in that's the width the minimum ground clearance is 9.6 inches the wheelbase is 109.8 inches and the turning diameter from curb to curb is 37.4 inches it's sitting on dunlop at20 grand trek P26570 R17 tires, and that's a 17 inch wheel. The front brakes are 13.3 inches, and they're ventilated disc in the front. The rear tire size is P26570 R17 as well, just like the front. The rear wheel size is 17 inch, and the rear brakes are 12.3 inches. It also has a full size spare tire. That's gonna be pretty convenient if you're ever off-roading and you get a flat you're not gonna wanna put a donut on that. It has four wheel ABS, ABS stands for anti-lock brake system. The fuel economy is 17 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway. The combined fuel economy is 18 miles per gallon. And of course, you use regular gas. The fuel tank capacity, 23 gallons. Your range that you're gonna get using those fuel economy estimates is gonna be about 391 miles in the city 483 miles on the highway suspension system in the front double wishbone suspension for the rear multi-link it has four wheel disc brakes with brake assist some of the other exterior driving options are going to include a locking and limited slip differential tow hitch here's your tow hitch right here there's that full-size spare tire i was telling you about it's also got tow hooks power mirrors and those power mirrors are also heated and like I pointed out earlier you do have turn signals integrated into those power mirrors you've got privacy glass essentially that just means that the glass is tinted intermittent wipers oh the wipers there's a little grid you can actually see it right there where that wiper is resting you see that grid that's integrated into the glass into that tinted part 
and that's a heated heating element, reducing the likelihood of them freezing to the glass. That's a pretty cool deal. Of course, power windows, power door locks, daytime running lights. You also have a pretty cool rear spoiler back here. And let me show you something cool about that rear spoiler. I actually have a 2001 4Runner, and the, uh, the rear wiper is actually right here. So whenever it cuts on, it, it, it wipes and then it goes thump back down into the position that, sit, that sits on the top of the door. This one though, your wiper is integrated into that rear spoiler. You see that? That is so cool. So that it actually wipes down from the top and that's going to reduce the likelihood of the wiper having to push up if you're like if your uh, window is frozen it's going to not have to push up any uh, ice or debris or anything like that it's also going to prevent like the sun and the weather and everything from prematurely aging that wiper I wanted you to see the turn signals and everything all the lights that are on the outside of it We'll fire up the headlights and the fog lights here in just a second. There's your integrated LED turn signal there. A neat thing about that turn signal as well is you can see how far it comes out. Let's say you're at a stoplight and these lights are blocked by traffic. That light is going to be more wide so that people further back know you're turning. The handle for the rear hatch is directly under the 4Runner icon, also the Toyota icon. And so I can just take that and pull it up once it's unlocked. And here is the storage area in the back. There's a handle right here. And then you've got two grab handles. Max uh, capacity, 440 pounds. Goodness, that's a lot. Handle, squeeze it and it pulls right out. It's on slides. And then that gives you an extra, basically like a table. And then once you're finished using it, you just take it and then push it all the way in and it locks right back into place. You also have little hooks. You see the silver ring right there? Silver. Then there's one there and one there. And those are gonna be tie downs for any cargo that you would wanna put in that back area. You've got two lights that are integrated to the inside of that back door. You can see there's two lights there. And then a pull here. Pull that down and the, the door actually, those, those hydraulic lifts really cooperate with you because it, it makes it feel like that door is really light. So there's a couple of ways you can pull that down. You can pull it here, another one here. You can pull this handle here. Another thing to notice is the fact that that back door has speakers integrated into it. It's gonna provide you with a little bit better sound quality throughout the cabin. Man, look at that. I've got one finger on that back hatch. There's your backup camera. You've got a water bottle holder there integrated into the back door. And I love the stitching. The stitching, you see the red stitching? That's part of that TRD premium. And you can see the soft touch panels there. Power window, and that is fully automatic. Automatic up and down. So it's basically one touch. Silver door handle. Piano black interior finish molding there on the inside of that door. TRD off-road. And then you have two cup holders that are integrated into the armrest there. Also notice you see there's a little dot that's going to be right there and that's the latch safety system integrated right there into the frame of the vehicle so that you can put a child safety seat via a hook that is underneath that button and you've got a little tab here that you can pull and that tab allows you to, to fold that seat back up at that point you can move the headrest or pull the headrest off fold that seat back down and that's gonna make it so that it's a completely flat surface, greatly increasing your storage ability there in the back. That is a fantastic storage area. And you know what, actually, I did not have to remove that, that headrest. It, it folds completely flat. Plus there's like a channel. There's a channel right here that is designed for that headrest to kind of go into. And this back seat is kind of spring-loaded. It, it actually went, went forward, you see that? And then uh, the handle that I used or the button that I pushed was right there to kind of activate it. And then this is the handle that I used to, to fold that. That interior is just awesome. Love that red contrast stitching. And right here, this is the driver's door. And so you've got all four windows, fully automatic. That's basically something that's on luxury vehicles pretty much. Also notice that you have your window locking button that prevents anyone from having access to rolling their window down or up. And it's so nice how simple everything is without being oversimplified. 
<laughs> if that makes any sense. That's a cool little storage area right there. That's going to be good for sunglasses and whatnot because everybody has a bunch of stuff. And now let's take a look at the heart of the beast. I love the hood. That's part of the TRD look. And the hood latch is going to be right just to the right of the Toyota emblem. My finger is on it right now. Move it over. And the hood sits on shocks so you don't have to sit there and hold it. Four liter dual overhead cam, 24 valve V6 with dual independent VVTI. VVTI is variable valve timing with intelligence. It has 270 horsepower and produces 278 pound foot of torque. When something has more torque than it does horsepower, that's when you really feel the pull because torque is actually what you feel, not horsepower. Part-time four-wheel drive system with active track, an electronically controlled transmission with intelligence. It has power-assisted rack and pinion steering, locking rear diff, and multi-terrain select. Crawl control, hill start assist control, and basically all kinds of other cool things to keep you on the road safely and off-road safely and fun as well. Windshield washer fluid is here to the left. Power steering fluid, coolant. Air box, battery is gonna be on the far right. Brake fluid here. Your engine oil dipstick is that little yellow fella right there. Engine oil fill is right there. And it says SAE 0W20. That means it's fully synthetic oil. You're gonna change the oil every 10,000 miles. You definitely wanna rotate those tires every 5,000 miles. pretty cool there's a little line right there you see that that's like a paint protective film on that fender as well you see that and it's also on the rear view mirror All right, let's take a look at the inside here. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have steering wheel audio controls. That multi-directional keypad allows you to make selections on the radio, like preset stations and different sources and tracks. Volume down at the very bottom. On the right side, you have Bluetooth controls, also voice commands, and display. It's gonna control what pops up in that center display. You see that? So I'm hitting display right now. cruise control get to the speed at which you want to cruise press it in and then push it down to set you'll push up to speed up while in cruise you'll push down to decrease the speed while in cruise you'll pull it toward you to cancel push again to cut it off here on the left side is going to be the stock for your turn signals headlights and fog lights that's going to be lights on manually parking lights daytime running lights off fog lights and then turn signal the panel that you see here is to the left of the driver in front of my knee. Mirror controls, gauge brightness, heated windshield wipers. This is going to be for the power outlet that we saw in the back of the vehicle. Here in the middle, you have a touchscreen display for your audio. It's going to have all kinds of different settings in it here in and of itself. Audio, apps, home, seek track, and whenever you press home, this is a display that you can actually customize. So you can put several different things on it like weather and radio. And then apps, this is gonna be where things are linked through the uh, Toyota Intune system. And so that's gonna be some of the subscription-based things there. But you also have nav uh, navigation, audio, phone, messages, setup, traffic, weather, and maintenance. You can reorder those. If you use one of those more than, than another, you can hit reorder and then you can hit, uh, then you can arrange them accordingly. If you use radio more than navigation, you can put audio there in front of navigation. Here's your navigation screen. And as you can see, it's all touch sensitive. I've been touching it there. And then if, if, you, if you touch something and you get off of where the car is, the vehicle is located, uh, you can actually see that the, where the vehicle is located right there, where you see the circle with the little triangle inside of it, that's always where the vehicle is located. 
but right now I touch the screen right there and it's kind of off you can just hit this button here to, to basically go back to where the vehicle is this zooms in and out on the map this is destination so if you want to go somewhere you want to enter a destination in you can press that and it'll do it according to one of these selections you can press there for more selections and then you have quick access items here and this is go home and one through five these are places that you're going to frequent the most maybe the office or uh, the beach house whatever you want to put in there uh, what I recommend whenever you put in your home address is don't put in your exact home address put in maybe the intersection that's a couple of blocks down from your house just for safety reasons if someone were able to take your key they could actually hit that take your car and go to your house we don't want that audio takes you to the audio screen you can memorize several stations here and you can also see that you have AM FM and satellite all combined in that one set you see it says one through six and you have satellite here you have AM there and FM here so that's a really convenient way of combining your custom radio stations and putting them at a quick access menu in this block so that you don't have to change uh, different modes you can just hit XM you can hit AM you can hit FM I really love how sensitive that is too you can see how quickly it was responding then and source is right here so this is how what source you're going to use to listen to audio AM FM XM you can see CD USB and auxiliary are grayed out and then Bluetooth audio so you can actually stream audio from your iPhone or your Android device down here below that is going to be your climate control notice something too how big these buttons are you see that they're much bigger than regular buttons one of the reasons is because if you have work gloves on the likelihood that someone's going to be wearing work gloves in a vehicle like this is higher so if you are out and about in the woods or off-road and you you've got on gloves it allows you to still be able to use these notice how big that is you see how big that button is right there so that's kind of the reasoning behind the, the size of those buttons one is for fan speed over on the left this is for mode so this the, the fan direction basically all right there AC and then on the right side is cabin temperature recirculate defrost both rear and mirror USB and auxiliary port that's where you can plug in your uh, iPhone or your device and then cigarette lighter adapter there notice you have a carbon fiber look there that is pretty cool heated seat control and this control here is for your back glass and it's one touch auto I just did that and the back glass just rolled up here's your TRD gear shifter and so you can put it down into drive and that's just going to be regular drive but at any speed you can shift it over and it says s and with a plus and minus and that's sequential shifting so you can change gears manually without a clutch and then here is your four-wheel drive system nice big center console here with storage plus a power outlet down in there and then here are your controls for your four-wheel drive systems and this is going to be the multi-terrain select you can see that where it says light and heavy on and off and then that this is crawl control here you can see speed low medium and high so basically these are systems to where when you activate them you just pretty much steer and this is going to be for really rugged off-road type of situations locking center differential a track and traction control off one two three right here that's your home link so that's for a garage door opener light on and off and then slide up and down that's going to be for your sunroof nice map lights there okay everybody that about wraps up our look at the 2017 toyota forerunner trd off-road premium <laughs> what a vehicle thank you so much for taking a look at this vehicle with me also again i would love to thank van york toyota in high point north carolina for the opportunity to film this video also if you liked this content and you would like more delivered to you hot off the press as soon as i make it make sure you hit that subscribe button feel free to share it with anybody you think would like to watch this video with you and also check out my website it's howtocarguy.com thanks again for watching everybody i hope you have a wonderful day and remember enjoy your ride